hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is zoe a lot of people know me from za reptiles on instagram and twitter or also my blog which i don't really use that often anymore so if you're new i'm a reptile mom to 13 reptiles now um half of which were rescued or adopted but reptile education is something i'm very passionate about as well as zookeeping i actually went to school to be a zookeeper so I'm kind of in that process. I just graduated last month. Technically I graduated in December, but I actually walked last month. So I'm joined here today by Tansy, my baby Beardy. And this is actually the first time that I have announced her name. Um, I was struggling with a name, but Tansy is what we have gone with. So everyone say hi to Tansy. If you want to see her video, then I'll link that in the description. So you guys can go check that out. Uh, meet her, hear her backstory. But this video isn't about her, but I just feel like most people don't like to have me talking at them. Videos are always more fun when there's an animal out to look at. So this video is actually about me, but I have an animal out for you guys. Just because who wants to sit here and listen to me talk? The Tansy here is going to help me announce the good news, and that's that I finally got a job at a zoo. Do you guys know that I went to school to be a zookeeper? That's been my goal since the age of four, was I wanted to work in a zoo, I wanted to be with animals. I've applied to four jobs since I graduated. I've had three interviews and I've been offered two positions. So this one I finally took. And yeah, it's not a keeper position. It is an education position. So I'll be in the education department at the zoo, which is totally fine because you guys know I love reptile education and a majority why are you watching my hands she's watching my hands she wants to eat my hand i talk with my hands so anyway i'm gonna be working in the education department at a zoo which is totally fine by me because it's basically what i do right now at the nature center as far as educational things you know birthday parties school groups field trips stuff like that you know camps so it's the same thing i do at the nature center now but at the zoo and you know more animals as opposed to just turtles and my advisor at school, you know, she did tell me, you want a job where you get to play with reptiles, why don't you consider education at a zoo? So, you know, I considered it. I thought about interning there, um, but there were other positions I wanted to intern at more. So I never did, but education is definitely a position I'm more qualified for. I mean, I have almost a decade's worth of experience coaching figure skating. So all different age groups, um, you know, large groups, of kids wearing knives on their feet so yeah there's that and then of course working at the nature center which is primarily education so i actually didn't apply for this position i applied for an apprenticeship keeper position at this particular zoo um it is the closest zoo to where i live which is why i was trying to get in at that zoo because it is a nice zoo it is a small zoo and it is closest to my boyfriend and to my family so i really wanted to be at this zoo and all the people seem really nice. I actually know a girl that works there and she said she loves it. So I applied for this apprenticeship position. So out of 97 people, they narrowed it down to 10 for the first interviews. So I was one of 97 to get a first interview. And then they narrowed it down to two or three people for the second interview. So I also got a second interview. So I was right up until the end. You know, they talked to all my references and I thought for sure I had the position, you know. Um, I think the lady I interviewed with is friends with a keeper that I internshiped with at school. So I thought for sure that like I had this job. I thought I was gonna like be a keeper. Even though it's just an apprenticeship, I was so excited. Like I thought I had it. While goes by, turns out I didn't get the job. Well, that same zoo is also hiring for education. And I didn't apply to that position because the thought of doing educational programs all day every day seemed very exhausting to me because when I do a program at the nature center I'm just I get a headache I'm so exhausted after so to do that every day seemed like a bit much but we're in school group season now so we have school groups and on field trips every single day and I've actually really been enjoying it so when I didn't get that position the person I interviewed with in the animal department actually gave my information in my resume to the education department who then contacted me and said they wanted to interview me if I was interested. So I was like, well, I need a job. I want to be in a zoo. It's the closest zoo. I'll take what I can get. Um, so I 
interviewed with them and it went really well. I was kind of nervous about the interview because I had done several keeper interviews. I knew what to expect, but this was an education interview. I had no idea what to expect and it actually ended up being the easiest interview I've ever had. So I don't know, but they didn't really ask me much because the job that I'd be doing there is the same exact job that I'm doing here. So it's like, it's something I already do for my job. So I don't know if that's why it was so easy, but they just asked me basic questions like what's my favorite age group to work with, what's my least favorite age group to work with, and that was really it. Then they just started telling me about the job and told me they were actually looking for someone to lead the summer camps this summer because the lady that normally does it, you know, she had a kid. She wanted to kind of not be overstressed with everything because she does the planning for the programs and then runs it and everything. So they were looking for another person to help her out with that. Um, so they said like during the interview that, you know, sounded like I was a good fit. And they were asking me all these questions like, oh, would you be okay with this? Would you be okay with this? You know, when could you come down? I mean, if we offer it to you. So it just, it went so well. It was a really good interview. It felt a lot like the keeper interview I did where I actually got the position in a place that it just ended up not being a place or position that I really wanted or saw myself in for like a year since most department leases are for a year. Um, so I ended up turning it down because I really wanted to hold out for this zoo because at the time I was still waiting to hear back on the apprenticeship position. So I actually turned down that other one. What you really shouldn't do when you want to be a keeper, you should take whatever job you can get. But I was like, you know what, I'm living at home, rent free, the nature center is going to keep me until I get a job. So I'm in a position where I can kind of be a little picky with my jobs and what I get, um, but not too picky because it is hard to get your first keeper job. So yeah, they contacted me, they wanted to interview me, super easy interview, a couple days later, they call me and tell me I got the job. But it was actually funny because during my interview, they told me the lady I interviewed with for the keeper position couldn't say enough nice things about me. So I was kind of like, she didn't hire me though. But I'm actually wondering if it was because they have such a desperate need in the education department and seeing my resume being mostly teaching and coaching, I'm wondering if they thought I would be a better fit in the education department. So they wanted me there instead. So I didn't get the keeper position. Um, but I mean, it also worked out because that was, it was full time, but no benefits because it was an apprenticeship where this is a full time legitimate job. So that is nice. And I mean, tons of fun reptiles. And you know, I'm not just limited to reptiles. There's other animals in there, small mammals and whatnot. But I am very excited about the job and about the animals I'm gonna get to work with. So along with getting this job, it is three hours away, which means I'm gonna have to move with all 13 of my animals and the enclosures in my bed and my shelves. And yeah, so it's gonna be quite the process. Um, I'll see if I can kind of film that process for you guys. I don't know how that's gonna go. So I have found an apartment. It is very cute. I can't even believe that they listed it in my price range. Um, they redid the whole thing. It looks new, it looks modern. It's super cute. Um, it is a one bed, one bath, but it has a living room. So that was like the one thing I wanted from an apartment, either a two bedroom or a bedroom and a living room so that I can have a space for my animals and not have them all in my bedroom anymore. So I'm super excited about that. I'll put some pictures right here so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. But of course I'll be doing videos, you know, I'll do an apartment tour, kind of show you everything. And I'm excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if anybody has any moving tips that you would like to share for someone moving into an apartment for the first time, like obviously I've gone to college, which was five hours away, but this is like legitimately like I am moving out. I'm not going away for a couple months, come back. I am moving out. I am done. I'm going to go and be an adult now. Right. I could be an adult. I know it sucks. So if anybody has any moving tips, you know, tips for moving with 13 animals, and enclosures and shelves and beds or just general moving tips things maybe you've learned from moving in the past that you think would be helpful and would like to share please stop trying to eat my fingers i'm going to get you food as soon as we're done so yeah leave any moving tips in the comments anything you've learned from personal experience that you think a first time mover would 
know or want to know anything you think would be helpful leave a comment because i'm gonna need all the help i can get thank you guys for watching i've been super excited to share this news with you guys i know a lot of you are here for the more zookeeper conservation side of things i've got the reptile side and then the zookeeper conservation side so i've been super excited to share this with you guys and yeah so that's why i've been super inactive lately between packing apartment shopping you know just filling up paperwork and stuff and yeah so thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss upcoming videos in my new apartment maybe some more information about zookeeping um you know updates on my job at the zoo so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that stuff and we'll see you for the next video